what's up guys welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about our new docking station for our ultimate steam deck so if you've seen our previous video our ultimate steam deck docks to this 6700 xt by amd and it's a pretty big system but it's kind of sort of a little janky so the boys spent the last couple days getting things in order so we can make a pretty pretty clean dock station for this bad boy we first started off with this little dock which was great it worked well i found this on thingiverse and it works very very well but there is a bit of sag in the gpu the main issue is it's kind of round in shape so it's hard to configure it with certain things so that caused me to create this bad boy so this is essentially a dock station for a gpu and it works pretty simple just like the other one you go ahead and you throw your gpu on there there's a slot down here and you throw a screw on there and bob's your uncle you have a dock for your gpu bada bing bada boom gpu is now attached there is next to no sag from the GPU. Triangles are hella strong. And guys, the more triangles you put in things, the better. So the reason why I kind of did it like this is because now we can clearly see their graphics card. Actually, we could see it pretty well before. But for me, I like, I just, I thought it looked better. Second big part of the whole system is our power supply. This is a 700 watt power supply from uh, Silverstone. It's kind of ugly and it kind of just you know having this in the back wasn't the greatest so we went ahead and poppy here if you like this type of content go ahead hit that like hit the subscribe helps the channel out a lot and if you all want do it for me do it for for her, her. look at her do it for her 3d modeled this shroud for it unfortunately the shroud did not fit i was actually off by about a millimeter and a half for the shroud to fit correctly so i actually ended up actually ac accidentally breaking it my fault my mistake the shroud fits like this and it covers up our back plate and then this bottom half was supposed to slot in with no problem but it doesn't fit correctly anymore but long story short that doesn't matter because we can go ahead and just glue this bad boy on so this was the bottom half of the attachment and the reason why it has this groove in the bottom is because this is supposed to slot right in here into this dock so the two systems are supposed to sit flush with one another what we're going to do to keep the whole thing together is we're just going to glue everything we're literally going to glue everything maybe one per corner we're using the same hot glue that we you pretty much use every single time Pull dabs we're going to put a pretty heavy dose of glue here, mash it into place. Now, you would think we are done with this dock station. We are actually not even close to being done. So this T intersection was designed to place this tripod right on top. And we're going to go ahead, just like we did in the last part, we're going to glue the two together. Like so. Bada bing, bada boom. Perfect. Tripod attaches to this vase amount. And for those who understand what a vase amount is, kind of get where we're going here. We created a mount for our monitor. Cool. So that works. This just mounts to here like so glue in the bolt monitor's not going anywhere okay so let's you guys seen it from the top down let's see it straight up bada bing bada boom check it out all-in-one graphics card power supply monitor setup let's go baby <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Alright guys, that is it. There we go, our dock is done. There's definitely some changes we need to make. We need to prop up the monitor a little prop up the monitor a little bit higher just because these cables are kinda in the way, kind of tilting our monitor off access. The dock works great, especially a GPU dock. This thing has zero flex in it. I love it. Way better than the one I found on Thing of Monitor stand. It works. It's a freaking monitor stand. And then you can see your graphics card. There's a couple of issues here. Um, meaning just we need to raise the monitor stand. And then obviously I need to figure out a way to hide some of these cables in the back so it's just a little bit cleaner and we can be more portable. So the Steam Deck does this game no justice. It is a beautiful game and the Steam Deck makes it look pretty crappy. But when you tie it together with a 6700 XT on a 2K 60 Hertz monitor, this game is drop dead gorgeous. Um, I don't know how many frames I'm getting. Um, probably probably 40, 50. Definitely not a full 60 because we are on high presets on 2K. So I do know the CPU is going to be a bit of a bottleneck. But now that we have essentially it, uh, what we have is a desktop now. <laughs> we, we're going to go ahead and configure it so we can get the games to run better. We can overclock the CPU and, you know, just get the full potential out of this GPU. Um, but other than that, guys, wow, what a cool setup. We do need to upgrade the speakers, though, because the speakers are terrible on this monitor. Uh, but that's an easy fix. Well, guys, I'm going to continue just swinging around in circles here. Because this game is super fun. Um, if you want to go ahead and make one of these yourself, this dock, the Ultimate Steam Deck, go ahead and visit us at DIYPoppy.net. You can download the STL files there. Also, I'm going to have an option available to if you want me to print it for you. Obviously, I'm going to have to charge for that. But other than that, guys, hopefully you guys liked this video. And if you did, hit that like. If you loved it, hit that subscribe. But other than that, guys, I will catch you on the next one.